Meepo Ron unexpectedly canceled scheduled interviews on NBC and CNN this weekend. Yeah, he's pretty much going to be out. He's going to be out. He maybe, he, you know, he might have beat Nikki in uh, Iowa, but uh, the bigger money is behind Nikki. She has all the neocons. She even has Democrat support. Yeah, because of uh, she's going to be, you know, pushing all that war that the Democrats love, right? And so he's canceled all of his uh, things for this weekend. I think he knows he's going down. And uh, also, he's also already withdrawn from Nevada race, uh, which is weird, right? It's not this Tuesday. It's not coming up. He, he already withdrew from it. I think cause he's, he's probably polling like at 1% or something like that. So he's already withdrawn from um, Nevada. Uh, I'm expecting him to withdraw this Tuesday night. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. Or even before that. If he's going to do, if he's going to withdraw before that, it should be today. Because uh, it needs to be... Um, you know, people need to hear about it. So they go, oh, okay, let me go vote for Nikki. That way they'll roll up his, his votes underneath her because people voting for him are not going to be voting for Trump. Okay. Um, he, Nikki wants more war. This guy wants to drone strike Mexico, uh, which would be very interesting, right? Holy crap. Uh, but yes, Florida governor and GOP presidential candidate Meatball Ron has withdrawn from planned appearances on two major Sunday political talk shows, CNN's State of the Union and MSNBC's Meet the Press. CNN spokesperson expressed disappointment but left the door open for future dialogue, stating on social media, they say, unfortunately, tomorrow's scheduled interview on CNN with Ron DeSantis was canceled by the campaign. We look forward to having the governor join us on the show in the near future. Yeah. Yeah, so, I um, mean, his career is pretty much done. He has no... um. This term limit is in Florida, so he can't rerun for office. He wouldn't have DT's endorsement anyway, so he wouldn't win. Uh, the only thing he could probably do is run as a as a House rep or maybe a senator. But um, I don't. He doesn't have it anymore. You know what I mean? He he was dude. He was um he was Trump light at, for a time, right? Now he's Bush light. You know? You guys remember when they they had the um hats made? This is like in 2021. They had hats made that said Trump DeSantis 2024. They actually exist. You can find it, probably find them on eBay. And now it's like, oh, it doesn't, no one wears it anymore. Hello, oh, Dark Star, good to see ya. So, um, yeah. Similarly, Meet the Press co-host, uh, host Christian Welker, disclosed on social media that DeSantis pulled out of the show due to unforeseen changes to his schedule. Yeah, so he's pretty much going to be out. Uh, the reason for these abrupt cancellations appears to be linked to Meatball's campaign activities. His campaign has scheduled a new event in Manchester, New Hampshire, replacing his media appearances. Welker reported Governor DeSantis has pulled out of his MTP appearance tomorrow morning due to a person familiar says is a last minute scheduled change. Per his campaign, he will now hold an event in New Hampshire tomorrow evening. This announcement comes as Meatball Ron is actively campaigning in South Carolina. Huh. So, you know, it, it, you know, I, I mean, something else that's interesting, uh, DT mentioned yesterday, but someone interviewed uh, Ronda's uh, meatball and um, they accidentally called him, they accidentally called him DeSanctus. He might have, he might have got mad about that. He's like, I'm never interviewing with the lefties again. I don't know, man. Media exposure is always, it's still exposure, right? Uh... Meatball Ron will head straight to South Carolina following Iowa on Monday. What? So, so this is okay. So this is got it. So they, they forgot to upload the verbiage, uh, update the verbiage on his butt. This is probably for, uh, uh, this is probably an excerpt from like a Sunday article or something like that. But he's uh, apparently spent this entire week in South Carolina, and he's dropped out of Nevada for some reason. Uh, I'm sure it's to, I'll tell you this, it may very well be to allocate his funding to uh, ballot harvesters as opposed to marketing and advertising, right? Yeah. Uh, what does it say here? The Boston Globe uh, of Suffolk University uh, and NBC10 poll of likely New Hampshire voters in that state's January 23rd Republican presidential primary released Wednesday shows uh DT with the commanding lead over nearest rival South Carolina former governor Nikki Haley. And again, I said uh, polls don't matter because ballot harvesters are not voting 5,000 times. Okay. Uh, the Democrats are allowed to vote in Republican primaries uh, because of their crooked governor. They're not, they're also not taking this poll and they're not voting 50 times. Okay. So, um, yeah. 
uh and uh meatball has five percent wow so he's not even he's he's so he's polling so low in new hampshire that he's not even gonna bother with new hampshire um but he's he's hitting up south carolina i mean everyone in south carolina just endorsed dt so <laughs> i mean they didn't even endorse nikki haley and she used to be governor there right 